Just a quick one, guys, before we do actually get into today's news. As I finish recording, Rangers announced that, of course, we will be playing Birmingham City and Union Berlin in pre-season friendlies ahead of the 2024-2025 campaign. Uh, so just to let you know, our pre-season schedule at this moment in time is Manchester United at Murrayfield on the 20th of July at 4pm. Then we've got Birmingham City away in Birmingham on 24th of July at 7.30pm. And then Union Berlin away on the 27th of July at 4 p.m. British Standard Time. So that is what we have thus far. Now let's get into today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys. Hope you're all well. Before we do get into today's video as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Guys, in today's video, as you can read there in the title, a Rangers star set for shock exit this summer we'll of course discuss the rumors with regards to that and just a quick hint it's not the James Tavernier stuff we brought to you yesterday yes it's another player we'll discuss that of course in detail we're also going over all the latest Rangers news from the last 24 hours but something has been released yes the Yusuf Kadabai transfer fee has been set amid Rangers interest the amount of money Rangers would need to pay to sign uh, Yusuf Kadabai from Bayern Munich has been revealed according to reports a variety of reports in Germany have suggested that Philippe Clermont is keen to sign the winger who spent last season out on loan with Schalke they have an option to buy the 20 year old this summer however it seems they're unable Able to afford a permanent deal. The player has just a year left on his current contract at the Allianz Arena and is expected to leave this summer. Media out in Germany claims Bayern would be willing to sell the attacking player for just £850,000. Uh, Bundesliga new boy St. Pauli and Serie A side Lecce are also believed to be very much interested in the player. Rangers are set for a busy window with Clement looking to reshape the first team squad. So uh, yeah, very, very interesting indeed there with regards to um Munchen winger, um, of course, a player that um, has been reported, well, we were very much reported and have spoken to, interested in, and that comes from Florian Plattenberg, who's very, very reputable when it comes to German transfer news. Um, so, yeah, very, very interesting indeed. Now, not the main subject, guys, so don't calm you down. I'm not saying that this is a shock exit, but uh, we have got a bit more on Sam Lammers before we get to the main stuff. Uh, the latest on the future of Rangers player Sam Lammers remains uncertain at this time. What we do know is that the Ibrox Club are keen to offload the Dutchman and there is plenty of interest in the Eredivisie for the striker. He spent the second half of last season out on loan at FC Utrecht in his homeland. He enjoyed a productive spell scoring in seven consecutive games breaking a league record. The club are keen on signing the 27 year old on a permanent basis. However it would appear they will face competition from league rivals FC 20. The technical director Arnold Brugnick said we also have a very good striker at FC 20 so it is that we need someone there immediately. By the end of the European Championship will thing are going as usual. We are not panicking. Uh, Jordi Zudium of Utrecht has also spoken about the player. He commented he is a very important link in our team, so we want to go for him. It's above our ceiling, but we are now looking for a solution. So yes, uh, interestingly enough, um, the Sam Lammer situation, uh, there is interest from the Eredivisie. Um, FC20 not going in for the move just yet, and it does look like Utrecht uh, can't really afford it. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with regards to Mr. Mr. Sam Lammers. Now, yesterday, we broke the news to you on a live stream that um, following Giovanni Van Bronckhorst's uh, arrival at uh, Besiktas, that he has spoken to the, uh, the Besiktas hierarchy and stated that he wants to make a move for Rangers captain James Tavernier. There was also loose links with regards to Rid Van Yelmes as well. And now something else has came out in a bit of a shock exit. Yes, Tom Lawrence has become the second Rangers player to be linked with a move to the new team of his former manager. Giovanni Van Bronckhorst has stated last week took up the vacant post at Besiktas. The Dutchman has signed a two-year deal with the Turkish Giants with an option to available to extend until the summer of 2027. As we stated yesterday, reports in Turkey suggested the 49-year-old has made it apparent to club chiefs that he wants to sign James Tavernier as his first transfer priority. Now more reports are stating he is looking to have another reunion, this time with Tom Lawrence as another player considering it to make a move for. The Van Bronckhorst signed Lawrence for Rangers two years ago upon his release from Derby County and the 30-year-old has just one year left on his current contract. He made 32 appearances last season after getting over the worst of his injuries. It remains to be seen whether he will play a part in Philippe Clement's plans moving forward with the Belgian already well underway with his rebuild of the first-team squad. 
Borna Barisic, John Lundstrom, Ryan Jack, Kimar Roof, and John McLaughlin have all been allowed to leave so far. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, interesting. Interesting indeed there with regards to Besiktas. It is also stating as well that Ipswich Premier League new boys, Ipswich, are reportedly also interested in in Tom Lawrence as well. So could Mr. Lawrence be on a uh, set for a shock exit this summer? Well, it makes it very interesting because I'm going to bring it over to you. 30-year-old, again, as I've always stated with Rangers players, we've always been left with the bag. Um, and we have got aging players. So with Tavernier, as I stated yesterday, if Besiktas put in a decent offer of around £5 million, you have to bite the hand off, you know. Uh, th 33 years old in October, that's a player that you've got to be selling. That's uh, If you don't accept money at that level for a, for a player that's 33 years old, um, then that's a failing business. And neglect. I mean, it's been, the business is being neglected and the same should be said look for Tom Lawrence I think he's a decent player he's done okay but there's probably better players out there than Tom Lawrence and if we're getting offered a sniff from Besiktas bearing in mind the Turkish league looks like it's got an influx of catch at this moment in time Premier League new boys Ipswich as well if we're getting offered um, a decent amount for, the, uh, for Tom Lawrence then we'll have to accept it because Tom Lawrence is on the other side of 30 now. Um, and whilst I do like to have experience in the team, you need to, as a business, accept players, uh, accept offers or good money offers for players or that are certainly aging. As I said, time waits for no man. And we have always been left with a bag, whether that been Ryan Kent, whether that been Alfredo Morelos. We're always victims of holding the bag too long and being too sentimental with these players. For me, if there's a, a money offer, every player has their value. You. And again, I know, I don't think the only player for me this season in our squad that is indispensable is Jack Butland. I don't want to sell him. He's a player that I would never want to, to see him leave. And then probably looking at um, new signing, Mohamed Diamande. I think he's quality as well. I wouldn't entertain any offers in him at this moment in time. But the rest of the players within the team, genuinely, um, all have a price tag in, in, in my personal opinion. And I would allow most of them to, to go out to the door if an offer is put on the table. And especially the players that are on the other side of 30, you certainly have to be entertaining these offers. It would, it would be stupid and you'd be neglecting the football club if you were to do so but that's the latest today guys Tom Lawrence is the second or the next player to be linked with uh, Giovanni Van Bronckhorst Besiktas now again some people will look at this as potentially this is not going to happen why the heck is Giovanni Van Bronckhorst going to be coming into their for former club to bring in players it's kind of always the case whenever if you look at it Whenever a manager takes over a club, they're always linked to players from their old place. Usually that's always the case. You've seen Stephen Joe when he went to Villa, how many players were apparently linked and how many players went. You can look over across the city with Ange Postagoglu, how many players um, when he went to Spurs actually went with him? None. Um, so, But the the thing with, with the Turkish league is uh, it's a lot lower level than the Premier League. And to be fair, James Tavernier going into a Besiktas team or a Tom Lawrence going into a Besiktas team probably makes sense and actually probably takes him up a higher upper level level so um yeah one to watch certainly but that's coming out to reports out in turkey rangers fans as always do let me know your thoughts on tom lawrence do you think he should be let go this summer if the right offer comes in and how much is the right offer how much would it be for you to willing to let tom lawrence go as stated let me know in the comment section below that brings us to the end of today's video as always please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily rangers content remember we do have rangers t-shirts available on our website so do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or going to rfcclub.com thank you and i'll see you next time take care Shh.